you guys ever notice how like when you start working on something, you kind of quit paying attention to where everything needs to go back to, and then by the time you're done with it, kind of got a mess on your hands? Yeah, my garage is kind of uh, kind of a wreck right now. I've had a bunch of projects going on, and so uh, probably should get to cleaning it up a little bit. That's gonna be important in just a second. I'm gonna explain to you why I need my garage a little bit more organized, so I'm gonna get to that. And done. So what's going on everybody? Uh, here's what's going down. This year I wanted to do something that was kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone and that's kind of what this YouTube channel is all about. Being in front of a camera is something that I've always been a little bit gun shy on. For a little while I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do as far as what kind of content I was gonna put out there. I have this project that I wanna do this year. Maybe some of you guys might find it interesting, who knows? Here's what it boils down to. There are 52 weeks in a year and I wanna make something every week of 2019. For every week that comes, then I'm going to figure out a new project and I wanna make that happen for every week this year. What kind of stuff? I have no idea. I make a lot of stuff all the time. I love working with my hands. I'm a professional tinker. What I figured is I would bring you guys along for the ride and kind of show you guys what I do whenever I'm making something. Show just how that works. I, I, I'm not entirely sure where I was going with that. This whole talking to a camera thing is still a little bit new to me. It's a little bit weird talking to something that doesn't look like another person. So yeah, sometimes I might make something new for my cars. I might make something that's gun related. Sometimes I might make a new piece of furniture. I don't know. Some of you guys are into that. I make a lot of stuff. I, I make a lot of random stuff. I made this and I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I made this with my hands. My life has led me along this journey of finding things that I didn't know how to do that I needed done and figuring out how to do it. Maybe that's something you guys are into seeing. So that's the goal for the year and yeah. Let's get it done. The current date is January 4th, uh, which means I probably should get cracking on my first project. Luckily, I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing, and I guess let's go ahead and get started on that now. So, first project 2018 has to deal with this guy. This is a CZ P10C. It's it's not my cup of tea, but nonetheless, it is a pretty good gun. If this is something you're into, cool. Some of you guys might know that I make these, and this is, that was almost bad. This is a compensator. So what this does is help tame recoil and what's called muzzle flip. You may be familiar with this concept, or maybe this is something that's new to you because you're not into guns. A buddy of mine has one of these, and he wants a compensator made for it. Let's go ahead and make a compensator for a CZ P10C. Basically what I have to do is the following. I'm gonna have to make a CAD file, uh, which is where I do the design, and then I'm gonna have to do what's called the CAM, which is where I go through, and then I'm gonna make all of the machining paths where the machine's gonna be told to go and cut and remove material. And then the last part of it is gonna be machining it. I'm gonna make my goal of making something every week, I've got a little bit over 24 hours to get this done. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the design that I've already got. I went ahead and drew this up and it's got all the dimensions and all the different measurements and things like that. So after I have this all designed out, I've got to go into a tab here that is what's called CAM and that stands for Computer Aided Machining. And what that basically is gonna do is gonna tell the CNC machine what it needs to do in order to carve this out of a chunk of metal. So let's go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So this is basically gonna be just a simulation. So you guys can see it's kind of going through and it's basically simulating what that process is eventually gonna look like. Now you guys can see that this shape doesn't look anything like what the model looks like. And that's because I haven't finished programming all the cam work on it. So I've got to go in and tell it, you know, how to do things like machine this part up here. I've got to tell it how to machine the other side, uh, some of these pockets and things like that, and then how to thread it. So that's what I've got to do. And I'll go ahead and get that done. And then we'll go ahead and go out to the machine and get some of the work done. All right, 
So it is January 5th. I got most of the CAD work and the CAM work done last night, so it should be about ready to cut. <laughs> but I probably need to get ready for the day first, and that's number one on the list. One of the things I forgot to do yesterday when I was cleaning the garage is I need to clean out the CNC machine because it's got scrapings all over it. I never really enjoy doing that. So we'll get that out of the way first and then we can get prepped to start cutting this part. I'm also gonna turn this guy on because it's actually freezing here in Arizona. So we're just about there. This is the piece of aluminum we're gonna go ahead and make the compensator out of. It's just a raw, big old chunk of aluminum. This happens to be 6061T6, which happens to machine really well. Let's go ahead and cut this down to size, get it stuck in, indicated, and we should be ready to go. Oh, that was awesome. Trip to breaker. All right, so after putting it in the mill and cleaning it up, this is what we end up with. So everything's all trued up uh, for as much as we need it to be in order to actually put it in the machine and cut a usable part. So now I'm just gonna go measure this guy out to get the exact dimensions that this thing is, program them in the cam, and uh, yeah, this will be ready to cut. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is this is the file that I created for the first operation. We're gonna go ahead and take that and copy it on over to the machine load up our g-code so this is basically uh what the machine is going to be told to do as far as all the movements uh, so now it's going to go ahead and move around and cut that chunk of aluminum that we loaded in there should end up with a pretty decent looking part So off one is done, and this is basically now what we end up with. We're gonna go ahead and put it in, get the rest of the operations done, and uh, hopefully we end up with a compensator. So here it is. This is basically a uh, project done. I still have to have it coated um, to do some cleanup work, you know, bead blast it, things like that. But overall, not too bad. You know, I'm gonna go through and deburr this, toss it in the tumbler, get a little bit of polish going on on it. But yeah, pretty happy with how it came out. This would probably put it on the gun, right? That's not bad. All right, so there it is, all mounted up. Pretty cool looking. I like it overall. I mean, hell, that's not bad at all.
So yeah, that's uh, Project 1 out of 52 this year. So we will see what's on the docket for next week. I honestly have no plan for next week. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I just set a goal that I wanted to make 52 cool things this year, one every week. So I guess one's out of the way. At least I have like, I think, five or six days to figure that out if I can build it in one day. I might have set a little bit of a lofty goal for myself. But hey, we'll see. That's part of the fun of this, right? We're going to see whether or not I can stick to my goal of making 52 projects one a week or you guys watch this video for nothing. But anyways, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next week, hopefully. Talk to you guys later.